Yeah, sir, big sweet checking in, man. Trapping on the trap house, you know what's going on? You know, I'm in my trap. You know what I'm saying? Radio station. Getting this paper. Sipping on a little Fiji. Somebody pay me. Money Moose still paid. Still Believe late. It. <laughs> what's up, my boy? <laughs> <laughs> Believe it. Cooling, cooling, my boy. He so, good. man, what the go- what's going on, man? I don't see no AE chain no more. Hey, yo, man. Ain't no more AE chain, man. It's just the SP chain, man. It's just still paid now. You so, is me? it because, you know what I mean? I don't. I'm cool, boom, man. I ain't, I'm not. I'm, I ain't never gonna be fake. You know what I'm saying? I know him and my boy had an issue situation. You know what I'm saying? And he was going crazy on him on the Instagram and the internet. Is that the same sit- kind of situation, or, or is it like y'all cool? Is y'all just sever ties or what? Like, do you feel a certain type of way? Honest. I mean, I don't feel no type of way. Like we moving forward. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna just cap you down, like, right? You know what I'm saying? Everything, everything, but shit. You know, like, I'm moving forward. I ain't got time to be dwelling on, you know what I'm saying, the past. I ain't mad about that. Okay, know. so new situation. So that's y'all business. Everybody stop asking the damn questions because he don't want to answer. <laughs> so what's going on with this new situation, man? I'm, I'm seeing Venice new distribution deal. What's up with that? Oh, um, man, yeah, Venice, uh, new distribution deal. You know what I'm saying? I'm going through Venice because. I feel like they really, you know, is hands on with the artists. And, and, you know, being independent, you could go either way you want. You know what I'm saying? You could drop. But a lot of times it's like only on you. You know what I'm saying? Solely on you. And it still is. But, you know, if I got a company that that through distribution, meaning like they ain't trying to just eat up all your percentages mm-hmm. and all that, but and still willing to, like, help you. Put some money in it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And That's use it. resources. Even if they ain't putting the money in, they still going to use every resource they can use to, like, try to make your stuff grow and not just leave it only on you, like if you were just distributing through a normal distributor. Right. And I got to salute to you because you've been get, definitely getting to the money because you would at, never really signed to a major record label. No. Nah, you know nah, what I'm saying? It was all independent. AE and, and Still Pay was independent. And it's another situation where it's distribution. What's the difference? Because I, well, I can't really ask that question because you ain't really seen that side of the paper on, on, a, on a major label. No. Nah. But I, from my understanding, and just being in your business, we friends, and I fr- we friends with friends of friends, you ain't too shabby with you ain't you ain't you been you was getting some money you you still getting some money now. Nah, for sure, man. And, and I ain't gonna act like you know what I'm saying. Even like when I did it, did it with AE, like you know what I'm saying. Money was spent, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. So it's like the the major difference from to even though I ain't never went major, I just know the major difference is spending your own money right. versus spending their money, like getting the front it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. So it's like when it's coming out your own pocket, bro. Like it's really like, bro. It's on you, every dollar. Now that money that you be spending on life or whatever you using, you might got to use that to front your next um, project or do whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? But I so. think the, the long term of, of that situation is, is definitely just longevity and more money. And I think you'll be a little bit more proud. Like, long live Dolph. Because that man was independent, right. doing his thing, and putting up his own money. And I feel like that's why he took his career so serious. And I think that when you bet on yourself, you ain't going to let yourself down. And... When you bet on yourself, you own your stuff. Mm. And that's what it's about. At the end of the day, ownership is how to how you keep getting the money. Come like, on, talk about you it. You can get the money. You can go hot and, you know what I'm saying, be getting the money one, two, three years, you know what I'm saying, consistently. But say you don't own none of that stuff. Right. So when that wave die down or whatever, it's like that money ain't coming in. You know royalties is like forever right that money gonna keep coming keep coming keep coming if you don't own it then you'll see you know what i'm saying so i got i got a salute to you because you definitely seem like way more mature and learn a lot more since the first time we interviewed um as far as like music now like what's your what's your vision what do you see um i see you know what i'm saying i'm gonna continue to give these folks you know my best my best uh music that i got i see platinum Plaques, you know, platinum albums. I see Grammy nominations, and I see, you know, the label. And you know what I'm saying? We still working the Kings, but man, still pay. We the label right now, mm. you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I see that in the future, you know what I'm saying? More artists, more producers. We got super producers right now, you know, Salute to Mundo, Rubber Band Red, King of the Court, you know what I'm saying? But like, I see that in the future, us going big and really, you know, showing the world, like, what we can offer, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm all pro for, uh, for young black entrepreneurs doing their thing, man. So, like, your story is kind of different because how long how long was, like, you know what I'm saying, your record out before it kind of, like, really, really took off? Uh, him was out 
a good three years before it took off. Like I dropped it in 2017, and then we dropped that remix in 2020. So you the average off. person would have probably gave up on the record. You know what I'm saying? Including me, I've been there. What made you stick with that record? You know what I'm saying? Because I just feel like sometimes, like even with me, when I was doing music, I jumped too fast. Because sometimes, like, when you feel yourself, like, some people, like, the type of music I was making then, I was just kind of like, just, if somebody's trying to sound like me, I'm about to sound like something else. But sometimes you, you need to just sit your ass still and handle sure. your business. What made you sit still and be like, you know what, I'm about to focus on this record right here. I still believe in this record after, after two, three years of people playing it, but it never going there, and then that finally it just pop like. Really, uh, yeah, it's the people though that made me do it. Like it was like, of course, I'm tired of the record by that time. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, you know, I dropped two projects even through them years. Mm. As I'm still pushing that record, but it's like everywhere I went, and I wasn't like I was just man. I was really moving on my own on some like. It was a slow grind, mm. so it's like I know that like man, okay. For this whole year, I ain't even been out of Atlanta. I ain't even went to no other city. Nobody else has heard this song. But everywhere I have went, they love the song. Mm. So I'm remembering that. Okay, every time a new ear here, they rocking with it hard. So I'm just going to keep making new ears here. That's why I kept going for so many years because it's like every time I went to a new place, I'm like, well, I got to let them hear him because they eating it up too much right. to the point where it's like, all right, we know what we got to do. We got to make it get on them. We need to get a remix. We need to get feature some bigger artists. Like, whatever it's going to do to make them new ears and them new eyeballs come look at this and hear this. I knew once they hear it, they going to eat it up. So that's why we just kept pushing it like that. So I definitely got to salute to you that because one of the artists that I recently heard about uh, goes by the name of Tim's. Her single out right now has actually, you know what I'm saying, was on our album two years ago. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't even know that. So what would you tell some cats about just knowing your music and knowing that you have good music? Because I feel like with music... Really, if you sit down and wait, it might come back around. If that sounds still good, it might come back around. That's how hit records work. If it's going to come back around eventually. So what would you say about an artist that really believes in a song? What would you tell them? I tell them, if you really believe in it, make sure that it's not just on song. You don't want, like, make sure the song really is a, I feel like with them songs, they got to be timeless. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it can't sound outdated in four years or it can't be one of those kind of songs. You know what I'm saying? You got to make sure it's one of those kind of songs that's like a timeless song. And, you know, make sure, like, the stats is proving it. Like, make sure, okay, if it's constantly growing, like, you see that. It's going to show, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I done dropped 20 more songs, but this song still, still moving. doing it and it things like that. And you'll know I feel like. Because, you know, some you might think every song is like that or whatever the case may be, but that might not be actually how it is. You need to make sure them stats matching it. And, you know what I'm saying, make sure the people really is just showing up with it. Stop playing. I feel like you'll know. Believe in yourself all the way, you know what I'm saying? So, Come on, for sure. New single out right now, going to tell them about it? Yeah, man, Stand On Business, new single, man, produced by Gross God, real banger, you feel me? Um, I'm talking about everything. On, you know, how I'm feeling right now, where I'm at in life with it right now, what I'm on, what the gang on, what's still paid about. Like, you know, if you want to know about Money Move, listen to this one right now. It's going to get to you. Enough said. Trapping out of Trap House, man. You dig? Money Move. Big Stu. What it do? You dig? Yeah, we outside.